We made it to Hargada and we're staying at the Siri Beach Resort and it looks beautiful. And this hotel, they designed it with only three colors, white, brown, and green. And those are the only colors that you'll see in this hotel. But we're checking in now, can't wait to see the room and hopefully we will see the beach and the pool. This is the check-in area, very courteous. And look, they still have their Christmas decorations. But I love how openness it is. No closed doors, beautiful weather. Well, our room is not ready yet, so we're gonna go eat at the restaurant and let's try to find it. Wow, beautiful. We quickly had lunch because they were closing the buffet in 15 minutes, so we had to do that first. We haven't checked in yet, but this is one of the restaurants here. It's the buffet. And then you turn around and here is the pool. Small pool, nothing fancy, but looks real pretty. And there's one side of the hotel. Don't know yet which side we'll be in. And then here's the other side. So as I was saying, I thought it was just three colors with this hotel, but it seems to be five. I'll have to ch double check and make sure. But of course, you can see the main colors, which is white, brown, and green. And I'm thinking the other two may be blue and black, because there's a lot of black accents here. But you don't find any colors, any of the plants. There's no reds or yellows or pink. It's all the green, beautiful vegetation with the palm trees or date trees there. Can't wait to see the room. All right, checking into the room. We made it to our beautiful room here at the Siri Beach Resort, and let me tell you, it's just beautiful. I love the zenness of it with the colors, the browns and the whites and the greens and blacks. But let's take a tour of this room. We come here and there's a wardrobe here. This one has shelves. And of course this one you have hanging and a laundry bag. We may need that. And you've got the bathrobes and slippers. We're gonna definitely use those. And then here's the mini bar. We do get complimentary water, which is nice. And here's, oops, and here's the things for the coffee and a safe. And here is, oops, and here is the mini bar. And the package that we have includes mini bar. We get one, one time refill a day. So we're back at the front and here's the bathroom. And it's so zen-like. Just love the colors. Mm -hmm. You have a toilet with the bidet and you have a nice modern sink with some nice amenities. Let's see, whoops, it's L Voyage. Okay, I just wanna smell the body lotion. Oh, it smells good. It smells clean. Vanity kit, ooh, I've been taking these from every hotel. I love when they supply this with makeup pads and Q-tips and a nail file. And then we have a nice open shower with a rain shower head here. But oh, we got some nice amenities here too. Jasmine, ooh, this is jasmine shower gel. Oh, that smells good. And of course, shampoo and conditioner. And there's a window here. It seems like the hotels that we're staying at has a window where you can <laughs> see in. And you come in here, we do have a full length mirror, which is nice. And let's go into the spacious room. We have a nice king size bed and I do like the color. So there is blue. This looks like blue, right? Mm -hmm. So there are five colors. I'm confused. I thought it was three, but the guy said five. <laughs> and on this side, you do have a nice big screen TV with a nice little bench. I think it's just the bench. There's nothing. I don't mm -hmm. see any drawers. And then we come over here. I believe this is the desk and we have some free sweets. We have some dates. Looks like batlava cookies and I think that's busa. And we also have a nice bowl of fruit. Look at the size of those grapes. And then a nice mirror here. Hey! <laughs> and we have the view of the Red Sea. The Red Sea is right here. First we were at the Nile, now we're at the Red Sea. 
Oh, it's so beautiful here. I love looking at the boats out there. I want to take a look at the, what the beach looks like. Mm -hmm. And you do have two chairs here. And I do like this. You can put your swimming suits or towels to let it hang dry. And in this Egyptian sun, it's going to dry within 20 minutes. But that's our room here at the Siri Beach Resort in Hurghada by the Red Sea. It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I want to stay here. We left that beautiful room so we can explore outside. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> The weather is beautiful yes. in January. And I believe we have all of this. This is all the Siri Beach Resort here and on that side. And the sand is quite fine. It's not rocky like I thought it would be. All right, let's sit right here. <gasps> Look. Listen to the calmness of the water. Was it cold? It's cold. <laughs> My feet are in the Red Sea. The water's not so bad. It's not ice cold. Shoka thought it was ice cold. Oh, I could swim here. Oh, wow. And it's kind of calming. I love the waves when it's like this. It's just very calm. found our way to this area right here, and I believe that's where all the excursions are at. You can kind of see the submarine quest and another submarine boat type things. Ooh, look at that pink boat there. And there's a bar. This is a huge hotel. We're on this dock thing where the submarines are looking back at the hotel. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. The submarines here. But honestly, that's not my kind of thing doing submarines. I'd rather be in the water than, what is it? Submerged into something in the water. Does that make sense? No. Hopefully I'll be doing some diving here in the Red Sea. I'd like to take him on this excursion. It's called Orange Bay. I think it's supposed to be a beautiful island somewhere out there in the Red Sea. It's just, the weather is just beautiful. What do you think, Shokit? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> just, I'm very relaxed. Yeah. Dinner time. And also, you're gonna probably see a lot of us eating. <laughs> so you're gonna see a lot of relaxing, swimming, eating, drinking, smoking shisha. This is a really nice resort and I love the zen quality of it. A lot of eating. Good morning from the Red Sea. Look at our view. So we already ate our breakfast and we ran into Luke and Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> and we're using the GoPro now since we're by the water. And Jacket went ahead and prepared the sugar cane. It's a process to peel it and to cut it in small pieces, but it's so worth it. I think this is gonna be your first time to you try sugar cane? I think so. Her first time. I've tried I think it before. I've had it in like before. Chew on it. Chew on it. Suckle yeah. the goose. Mm. Very sweet. I like the sugar. Mm -hmm. so this is what it looks like after you remove the skin. <laughs> it's not that cold. I want to get you still first. <laughs> I'll take the picture for you. No one's seeing me in the swimming suit. <laughs> swimming in the Red Sea in January. I can't believe the water. I know. Look at that. There I am. <laughs> it is kind of cold. I wait until midday. Okay. When the sun gets a little bit, you know, warmer. <laughs> Still nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Actually, once you get in, it's not bad. It's good for the skin. <laughs> we made it. We yes. made it. Deep water. You have a fruit and dessert station, and then you have this station. <laughs> Everyone's here so nice. Today we have lamb kofta, and that's what I'm getting. And then here you have chicken, lentil soup, chicken curry, potatoes, and they serve it all for you. And it, uh, this is the Asian section and Italian section. A lot of variety here in a salad bar. And I think y'all are getting salad. <laughs> a little bit of greens. <laughs> you want some more kofta? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> One cup. <laughs> We're on the boat doing an excursion to Orange Bay. They say it's beautiful. It's a little chilly. We'll see. But I won't be diving and I hope it's not going to be a deep dive because I don't like those and they're going to be snorkeling and then taking us to Orange Bay and they say it's beautiful. Crystal blue water. I think it's not going to be deep in some parts, but I think it's going to be fun. starboard side of the boat and there is a toilet and when you get in that's your view you see but I think I'm going to close the door <laughs> because who knows who's going to be walking by. finished snorkeling and diving and now we made our way to Orange Bay. But there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of Instagram shots you can do. There's a lot of boats out there. There's a lot of people on the island. We made it on top of this wood play thing and the view from here is amazing. 
Mm. Yeah, it's just like this empty rock in the middle of the Red Sea. I'm sure the government owns it and they made it into this touristy spot. And you can kind of see out there, it's waist deep water. Everyone wants to take a picture by the swing over there. There's the swing set and there's a line. It's going to take forever. So yeah, we're going to miss that one. But that will just give us another chance to come out here. Right? Right. Hello, kitty. Here's an Instagram shot over here. <laughs> and there's the swing set over there, but I don't think we will make that. It looks fun though. The wind noise was just too loud, but we're leaving this beautiful island back to our hotel. We didn't stay here long, just an hour and 20 minutes. It was crowded, the water was a little chilly, but it's such a beautiful place to be. So when we get back to the hotel, we have one more day left, and then we're getting ready to pack to go back to Cairo. My backpack. <laughs> Luke, come here. You want me to zip it? Yes. Oh, that was easy. We're about ready to leave this beautiful place here in Hargeta, and it's really don't want to leave. But we're going to fly back to Cairo. We're spending a day and a half there, so we'll be spending it with family. So we're going to end the video in the vlog here. But first, when we get to Cairo, we're staying at the Mina house. So I may give you a room tour there because I've heard it's beautiful. It has the view of the pyramids. So I'll give you a room tour there and then we're going to end it. I'm sad. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's gather the bags and get on the plane and I'll see you in Cairo. We made it to Mina House, and I know you've heard me say this many times over, but wow. This is the first time we've stayed here at the Mina House, and I've always wanted to. So we're just gonna be here for two nights, actually a night and a half, because we have to leave at 3.30 in the morning the next night. So it's really not gonna be a night. <laughs> the Mina House used to be a palace of the King of Egypt before 1950. 52. 52 before the revolution happened and then Abdel Nasser came to power. Yeah, that's another story. But it used to belong to King Farouk and unfortunately the palace is under, I guess, renovation, reconstruction, so we won't be able to visit it. But we're in the main hotel room and it's owned by Marriott. We did get a king-size bed with full pyramid view and I can't wait to show you that view. But first, let's look on this side. I haven't even seen this bathroom yet. I think this is the bathroom has your usual sink with a nice mirror and two Middle Eastern type tables on either side. Oh, it's by This Works. Mm. I had this brand before, especially the uh, bed spray. And we have the In The Zone body lotion. Oh, I wanna smell that. Oh yeah, that smells like the bed spray. Then you have the toilet. There is a bidet inside. And look, there's a foam by the toilet. That's so, what is it, 1990s? <laughs> I can't believe they still have phones by the toilet. And then we have a nice rain shower. That's nice with This Works shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Ooh, that's nice. And I think, oh, that's nice too. So water doesn't spray everywhere. And I like the marble floors too. I love this color. And we have a nice wardrobe here. Oh, it lights up. Bathrobe, slippers, a scale, which we're going to need to weigh the bag. <laughs> and drawers and a safe in this one. 
Then we walk into here and we do have a king size bed and it looks very comfy, very comfy. And a place for the luggage, which I kind of like because it's not one of those little fold up thing with the straps. This one's got marble, so you can store something on top and inside. Yeah, I like this. Then we come in, we've got a nice smart TV with more drawers and cabinets. And we have a nice couch and there's a coffee machine, which is, wow, an espresso. Not bad. Now for the piece de resistance, and I hope I do it justice. And it comes with screen doors too, so you don't have to worry about bugs. Look at that view. Look at that view of the two pyramids. But it's such beautiful grounds. The landscape here is amazing. It's yeah. really beautiful. Love the date the, trees. The, green, the, the date trees, the pyramids in, in the background. It's amazing. We also have two chairs at a table so we can just sit right here and enjoy looking at the pyramids. Beautiful. So I think we're going to end our Egypt travel vlog here and what a trip. Yes, what a trip. Uh, <laughs> enjoying it from day number one Beautiful. till today. We still have one day though. Yes. One more day. We're going to spend it here at the hotel. Just kind of relax a little bit because we have an early flight. It leaves at 6.50 so we're going to have to leave this beautiful hotel at 3.30 in the morning. Mm. <laughs> yes. But we need to get our body acclimated to U.S. time, I guess. Yes. But it's been a wonderful trip. Thank you so much. Oh, it was pleasure. It was pleasure. We taking, the kids and Yeah, you. taking our kids to see Egypt, to see the place that were, where I was born, where you were born, where you grew up, where we got married. Because I came to America when I was three years old, so I didn't grow up in Egypt, unfortunately. Kind of wish I did now, just for a little bit longer, so my Arabic could have been a little bit better. <laughs> you're, you're, you're two weeks to make you speak more Arabic, though. That's good. That's a good. Meshi. Okay. Meshi. <laughs> but this was a trip of a lifetime for us to take our kids and their spouses with us. We've been to Egypt before, and we're still going to be coming back to Egypt, oh, hopefully, yes. inshallah, next year. Yes, inshallah. Mm. <laughs> did you have a favorite thing that we saw or did? Oh, one favorite thing? No, there is no one favorite thing. There is many favorite things. Mm -hmm. First, the church we got married in. Yeah, that was nice. That was so Especially special. Especially showing the kids that. That was so special day, and it was so special place for us. Yes. We got married in this church. Yeah, and I was baptized in that church oh, too. Yes. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Oh, and then a swan trip. Yeah, a swan wonderful. is beautiful. That part of the Nile, it's just magical. And Luxor is beautiful with the temple. Hatshepsut temple is my favorite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the, all the temple between Aswan and the Luxor. Yeah. The Mumbo and the Eiffel. You will see it in, in the video, right? In yeah. The blog. Okay. Hopefully it worked out okay. <laughs> and I'm sure the sleeper train. I like the sleeper train. I know the kids did not like the sleeper train, but mm -hmm. I liked it. I don't mm. think you liked it either. I didn't like it. <laughs> I liked it. At least we got kicked it off of our bucket list. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, at least we tried it. Yeah, but I'll still do another sleeper train. Not in the same one. <laughs> no, not the same one. There's no need to do it twice. Yes. We'll do maybe European one or yes. Oriental one. I mean, I don't know when we'll do another sleeper train, but at least we did it. Yes. Hargada. Oh my gosh, the water mm. and the hotel there. Actually, all the hotels that we stayed at is just beautiful. Yeah. Fairmont, Ben Ben, let's see, the Steigenberger, and then Siri Beach Resort, and then the Mina House. And the Mina House. We ended it perfectly yes. in front of the pyramids. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Egypt is a wonderful place. It's safe. The people are wonderful. They're very friendly. I recommend this trip to everybody. It's safe. Yeah, it's safe, safe, safe. And tourism did take a, you know, kind of a hit, especially with the war in Gaza. But we didn't feel it here at no, all. No. Yeah, nothing. The Egyptians just want to, you know, they want to live just like you and I. They're just trying to make ends meet. But Egypt is safe. I recommend this 100%. Of course, not the same tour that we did because two weeks is a long time. <laughs> but we did see pretty much everything we wanted to see. Yes, that's true. That's true. Next Next time we need to go north to Alexandria and the, the uh, Mediterranean. Well, all right, I think we can call it end. 
Mm, yes. I know. Um, yes. But we hope that you enjoyed this travel vlog, and I hope I edited it enough and good for you. And, and um, we just hope that y'all enjoy it. So if you like this video and the other videos that we've done, please give us a thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and we can travel more. Yes. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.